This 29th trading week of 2012 comes to a close with investors sending stocks lower on Friday after a Spanish region asked the Madrid government for financial aid, sparking fears that Europe's problems are far from over. Hi, I'm Sayok Marase. Welcome to the Weekly Market Wrap for Friday, July 20th, 2012. The Dow Jones Industrial Average, the S&P 500 and the Nasdaq edged higher this week. Crude oil futures are higher this week, trading around $91.31 a barrel on Friday afternoon. Gold futures are lower this week, trading at $1,580. $4.90 an ounce in afternoon trading. In notable economic news this week, growth in U.S. factory output slowed to a 1.4% annual rate in the second quarter after a 9.8% pace in the first quarter. In corporate news this week, Goldman Sachs announced that net income dropped by 11% in the most recent quarter due to fewer investment banking deals and financial market volatility. Net income was $962 million or $1.78 in the quarter versus $1.09 billion or $1.85 a share in the same period last year. Analysts had expected $1.17 a share in earnings. Revenue declined by 9% to $6.63 billion, but exceeded estimates of $6.2 billion. Citigroup, meanwhile, announced that quarterly earnings were lower by 12% due to losses from cre uh, credit crisis era assets, though results also beat estimates. Verizon Communications announced that net income increased by 13% in the second quarter as it gained more wireless subscribers and collected higher fees. The company earned $1.83 billion, or $0.64 cents a share, up from $1.61 billion or $0.57 cents a share in the same period last year. Earnings met analyst estimates. Revenue increased by 3.7% to $28.5 billion, also meeting estimates. Verizon Wireless gained 1.2 million subscribers, of which 888,000 were on contract-based plans. Microsoft announced its first loss as a public company since 1986, mostly due to a $6.2 billion write-down of an advertising agency acquisition five years ago. The company lost $492 million in the quarter versus a profit of $5.87 billion in the same period last year. Revenue increased by 4% to $18 billion, helped by strong sales of the Office software package. Document management company Xerox announced that second quarter earnings fell by 3.1% and revenue fell by 1.3%. The company earned $309 million versus $319 million in the same period last year, while revenue was $5.54 billion versus $5.61 billion. Analysts had expected earnings of 26 cents per share and 5.61 billion in revenue. This is the weekly market wrap for Friday, July 20th, 2012. Please join us on Monday for the week ahead market report. This is Sayoko Morasa for PassFail.com, taking you behind the ticker.